Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time yet again for some more StarCraft II commentary. Today it is going to be a game between Daisy and Journey. This is going to be a Terran versus Protoss, Journey versus Daisy. We are here on the map Metropolis. If you have yet to see the map, I will take you on a quick tour throughout it. All right, so firstly, taking a look at the main base. Not the biggest. I really like the uh, the art used in this particular map, though. Everything looks nice and clean and futuristic. I love it. Ramp leading into that natural expansion. We do have that little supply depot there, preventing wall offs, of course. You can see there are some rocks right here and just a small bit of space. This makes it good for like a forge fast expand in uh, PVZ for the Protoss player. Besides that, of course, natural expansion is right here. Also, some rocks leading into a third. The thing about this third is, however, there's another set of rocks on the other side, plus a huge ramp leading into it. So do certainly have to be careful when taking that, making sure you don't deal with any harass from either of those angles. Besides that, it is mirrored just like that in all four corners of the map. They all look exactly the same. And then in the center of the map, we have got an expansion over here and then a far outlying expansion right over here. You can also notice that creep tumor laid down there, preventing the drop of the expansion. It's actually forcing you to come over there with some sort of detection and a unit to kill it off. And then of course we do have these Zelnog Towers also in the center of the map. Something to, of course, keep note of. And then a little doggy statue, because who does not love doggy statues? Probe Scout moving out. Looks to be going down in that 6 o'clock position after he realizes the journey is not there. He should be pulling on over to scout that 9 o'clock position, at which point he will be finding journey. There you have it. Unfortunately, it looks like he will be getting there a little too late, as the SCV should be building that first Rax. So we'll not be able to come out with any of that probe harass that early game probe harass that Terran players hate so much oh it is so frustrating it's pretty easy to deal with I do remember though uh, when the beta was out or the game first released people really just had no idea it was it, it was it's interesting to see how the player base evolves and skill amongst everybody really evolves because when this was first happening people lost SCVs all the time I saw it in my games I saw it even I, I, I even recall seeing it in some pro games I mean, looking back on it, maybe they weren't the most professional players that were losing it, but still, I do remember seeing high-caliber games, people losing their building SCVs to that harass. I mean, it's as simple as pulling down with another SCV. I just think the skill level wasn't quite... It, it sounds so trivial, and it sounds so like, oh, they must have just been stupid, but I tell you, it was happening all the time, and now I, I almost never see people lose workers, so... Just goes to tell you, overall, the player base, their skill level does... Know, it improves over time. That's a great thing about StarCraft 2, is it not? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I will be interested to see with Heart of the Swarm coming out how it's going to throw a monkey wrench and everything. <laughs> whole new units, whole new tactics, whole new lots of stuff. Can't wait for that. Oh, I'm so excited for that game. So excited. And then after that, of course, we do have what is it, Legacy of the Void after that. So, yep. It'll be awesome. All right, Marine, a Marauder, and Hellion early on here from Journey. Journey will be planning some early game aggression. There's no question about that. This composition, he definitely plans to push out at some point in the uh, early game to do a bit of damage. We'll have to see what Prime now looks like. Uh oh, it looks like Daisy will be going for an expansion as he's pulling down here with that probe, saving up those resources. And there it is. Nexus gets dropped. This push could be a problem for him. I don't think he's going to be scouting it anytime soon either. <clears throat> it does have a stalker here in the center of the map, also moving down with the probe. Probe over here as well. SCV chilling out over here. Now it did. I did uh, believe the SCV was over here when that stalker was coming down. So I'm pretty certain that Journey knows what's going on here. Now he's gonna first look at this. So smart. Hold him back with his units, waiting until he has the tower, and then pushing out with the rest of what he has. Very very smart of him. Now Daisy down here with a probe. Should be trying to move on in to get some secondary scouting, and he will scout this, but this is going to be knocking at his front door before that even happens. SCV pulling on over here as well. He can be used to repair on those Hellions. Pro pulling on across. He's going to actually probably spot that Marauder as well. Let's get some units checking over here. We have an expansion coming out, but this early game aggression is going to be a problem. Let's see if he can defend against it, or if he's going to be forced to cancel that expansion. Canceling that expansion would be a huge, huge loss. No vision on the high ground. He's going to be taking some damage from those sentries. He needs to be careful. Stay away from the edge. He kills off the stalker on the low ground. He should just be trying to force cancel that. Oh, I'm not going to get canceled. He cancels it. He cancels it. Unbelievable. He was realizing, all right, well, I can't get out there and deal with this anytime soon. This is a very strong push in the very early stages of the game. So what am I going to do? 
going to lose it regardless. Might as well cancel it. That has got to be so frustrating now for Daisy. As Daisy is trying to keep this push out of his base. He was not prepared. He was just sitting on one gateway at the time of this push. Now coming out with a Robo and three additional gateways. But man, oh man, was that a hindrance here. Just a little push early on. And forced to cancel. Forced him to come out with all these production buildings as well. Very nicely played there by Journey. Probe here. Going to get taken out. Concussive Shell Marauder. He's not getting away. Yeah, see you later. Pulling back with the majority of his units now. He does have a few Hellions over here. Four Hellions, in fact. Uh oh. Need to be careful here with those sentries. Oh my gosh, where are those Hellions? Are they going to do anything? <laughs> I think he's just going to be chilling out with those, waiting until this gets up and saturated, and then hitting it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's going to be so effective. Oh, I have got to keep an eye on that. No question about that. Looks like he may be actually even planning to come out with another base to make up for the loss, how far behind he's going to be with this. Now back over here, transition is going to be bio-heavy with some medevacs. Factory is floating its way across the map, so clearly not planning to come out with any mech anytime soon. He'll just be using this for some scouting purposes. But, oh man, this is going to be so painful to watch. Poor, poor Daisy is going to get slammed with these three Hellions once he gets that expansion saturated, and that, was good. that is going to be very, very sad to watch. <clears throat> very sad indeed. Right now, Journey does have map control. Stalker trying to pull down to take the tower from the Hellion, but no. A couple stimmed up Marauders take care of that. They have a few units pulling on over from this direction. Not gonna, not gonna even bother trying to go down and engage. He knows though. But obviously, if Journey sees a force that would take him out, he's just gonna move away from that. Factory scout making its way across the map. Marauders, did they stim up? Yeah, they did. Looking for the probe. Take it out. Attempted counter push coming over here. We still have these Hellions. Now is the time, he says. And oh, painful. Oh, how painful indeed. Trying to get that wall off. Just going to sack the probes. Oh, it sneaks on in to the main. Oh, no. More workers getting killed. Stalkers will be able to take care of that. But he is losing so much. 16 workers so far. And it's going to be a few more before he takes care of that. Counter attack is coming. We got some bio here. They've got stim pack. Combat shields almost finished. Even got a medevac in play. Hellion's finally taken care of. Total is 20 workers killed. That was very impressive there by Journey. Stimmed up. Marines and Marauders. Daisy's got to be concerned here. That is a very strong force. He's got three medevacs in play. He's going to be able to keep that stim going for at least a couple more rounds. This is not looking good at all. He's got a pylon. Prepare to warp in some more units. Get some reinforcements coming over from this direction. He's going to do what he can, though. Because if he can break them right here, it's going to be very close. We're going to have so many reinforcements. Obviously, he's right next to those production buildings there in the barracks. And he's just going to heal up those units. He is concerned right now. Pulling down with some SCVs to make sure he can defend against us. Nice force field wall there. Beautiful micro from Daisy. That force field wall. Is a bit problematic. Killing off the racks here with vision of the high ground. Oh no. Pulling forward here, stimming up his bio SCVs. Also moving forward to engage. Those immortals target firing down those marauders are his biggest problem here. And he's down very low in bio count. He's still got the reinforcements coming on through though. We'd like to see him repair that if at all possible. He's got the resources to do so. More SCVs forced to engage. Daisy continues to reinforce here. Stimmed up Marines and Marauders continue to do what they can. No counter aggression going on at all. He's obviously super focused on this at the moment. I don't think any drops or anything like that. Needs to make sure he's, he's just barely hanging on here. As you can see, was forced to come down with those SCVs to engage. And as a result of losing all those SCVs, he's actually further behind uh, Daisy right now in terms of the number of workers that he's lost. But it doesn't matter. So Stimmed up Bio pulls forward and finally defends and takes the victory. Although short, this was quite a thrilling game. We saw some early game aggression from Journey moving out with Marines, Marauders, and some Hellions forcing Daisy to cancel his expansion. We then saw hitting Hellions in the natural absolutely toast Daisy's worker count. The counterattack here coming out from Daisy definitely threatened to overrun Journey's expansion. However, Journey was able to just hang on by pulling down with some SCVs and continuously reinforcing as well. Great but short game here between Daisy and Journey. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.